Good morning. Should we all click our glasses? Here's to love. Here's to the best day ever, huh? Click. Here's to a brand new world, click. Here's to more elevation of consciousness, click. Here's to me being more focused on what I really, really want and need, click. Ah. Because all this division is simply a lack of undivided attention on really what you want, click, right? And uh, I'd be hard pressed to find too many people if they would just give you a moment and ask them, what do you want? Would you want more love if you could have more love, real love and happiness and joy? I mean, if they were just sincere enough for a second, they'd probably say yes, click, right? And so the opposite of, the, of all the division that we feel inside of ourselves and the indecisiveness and procrastination and, you know, I don't know, doubt, the opposite is to, I only have eyes on love. I only have eyes for you. I only have eyes for love, man. You know, it, it makes a big difference if you go about this day knowing what you want and what you're going to focus on, right? You have, you have some kind of a, uh, I don't know, an intention for that rather than just racing into the day without a, without a clear focus for your day. So today is, is, at least for us here on the Love Force Revolution, is to have undivided attention. And when you, when you apply that to this love, you know, the love, the love, the, all that is love. All there is love. Love is all around us. When you apply that, I want undivided attention on love. Now, love is very personal and intimate. It's not just a, a thing or a word, obviously. It's a, it's a reality. And in that reality is a, a lover, a beloved, a friend, a companion. Because love is everything. So you can create a personal, intimate affair with love, with undivided attention. I only have eyes for you. I only have eyes for you, my beloved, for love, right? Now that would make you one powerful or support you in being one powerful, focused individual. That would take care, I think, of of the opposite of the being divided up and scattered and when you know the house is divided it's easily conquered you know you are easily conquered by the restlessness and the worry and the fear and the anxiety and the stress you see but when we have that intention that we want to have the intention to be undivided attention on only love today well that could create a, a whole new opening that could create a, a, a fantastic beginning of the rest of today and the rest of your days, right? So, and then, and then it automatically replaces, it automatically replaces how easy it is to make ourselves wrong and to question ourselves, right? Or wish we had said something else because this thing didn't go according to what we thought and on and on and on. And then of course, then we make other people wrong, right? because we may want them to be like us and to think like us and to and to believe like us you know because we're kind of pack animals right we we're pack animals because we really do exist in the oneness so we're gonna we're gonna find our little pack and we're gonna join that pack the rap pack or the love pack or the light pack you know or the sport pack whatever or just that kind of pack that you want to resonate with then they resonate with you but what what we do when we have unavided attention on love whatever pack you're in you're not going to make wrong you see and then we're in the humanity pack aren't we we're all we're all kind of under the same stars and the same sun and the same moon moon and the same elements and so we really are a, a world family pack and uh and it's so easy to make the whole package wrong and every piece inside that package wrong and it's that beautiful ability when you listen to someone just you know just 
just be where they're at. Just love is us and has an unbelievable knack for just being where you're at. A knack for being where you're at. You know, not only love with you and your self-love and self-compassion, it has a perfect knack to be just where you're at. Because it just wants to be with you. It wants to companion with you. It wants to help you go through this detail and to make a choice and to write an email and to cook your, cook your dinner or your breakfast or whatever and to drive and to, you know. It just has a knack to, to be right where you're at. Not just physically, but emotionally, spiritually. Huh? And, uh, and mentally, just right there, baby, for you. I only have eyes for you, says love. It just has eyes for you. This great cosmic love just has eyes for you today, honestly. And it has all the friggin' time in the universe. Whereas we don't. We make that one up. We don't have time to give our undivided attention to this moment, to this friend, right? Because our minds are just so undivided. They're scattered, basically. And that's, that's the delusion's job, is to keep you scattered and just have you just divert your attention from being undivided. That's all it needs to do is just, hey, little girl, hey, little boy, right here, right here, ah, right here, hello, like a little monkey, hey, here I am, ah, here I am. And the mind jumps, 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 right? So, but love will, will help capture that, that monkey restless mind at will and put it in the cage of so much positive energy that eventually that monkey will just decide, hey, I'm going to be like this this uh, devoted monkey mind. <laughs> a monkey mind that's devoted. A devoted monkey mind, man. Imagine, imagine that that restless little here, there, everywhere, jumping around monkey just wants to get your attention. It's just trying to get your undivided attention. Huh? So it can be placed on that one moment, this moment with the beloved, with the friend, with love undivided I'll take care of all making wrong I telling you you'll realize that love walks with you it is you it is you it's everybody it's every situation dang man you know we so we so uncomfortable being in these human bodies isn't it with the restless the restless monkey mind huh and the divided emotions and the scattered energies that's really really hard nothing seems to be satisfactory <laughs> you know you're racing around. We're racing around. When really love is right here at this golden moment, you know? Isn't that awesomeness? Yeah. So here's a song, you know. Will that day, will this moment come when I, when saying I love you, when saying I love you, my, my heart will burst open. <laughs> Just from this undivided attention, this is the pause, the stop, that we're gonna be in this moment with love, right? Just this one. And will that day come? And it could come right now. I mean, the moment is right here, right now, right? But it's just a way of saying it. Will that day, that, my, that I only have eyes on you, right? When saying, I love you, my heart, my heart burst open, you know? And then we say, and darkness will steal away. You know, sometimes we say like a dark bird, it will fly away, you know. And, and darkness will steal away, steal away, steal away, right? And here comes the light. Here comes the love. As soon as we are undivided attention, as soon as our intention is about an undivided attention in this moment. All right? Will that day come to me, love? When saying I love you, my heart burst open. Will that day, oh, come to me, love? When saying I love you, my heart burst open.
attention is our theme today to have an intention for undivided attention I only have eyes for you Good morning, my chief. First one, are you ready to go rock and roll, Vertigo? Way to go, Vertigo. Way to go, my chief. <laughs> oh, yeah, got to have the little tea. We're sipping this tea of joy, huh? This is a this is a an ancient tea ceremony we have on this love line in the morning, first thing in the morning. I love the morning show. I really love the morning show. I love mornings, you know. I'm one of those people that early to bed, early to rise makes a person healthy, wealthy, and wise. Yeah, I'm kind of the early bird, you know. I'm not a night owl, and uh, I don't know how the people are both. Owls and larks. Morning larks and owls? I don't know, man. That's more like burnout to me. Anyway, I'm a lark. So, hey, and I'm a lark like Clark. <laughs> Right? And hey Zeus, man, we got the we got the big love guns on this morning. But of course, of course, you know, the love guns are steady, man. Steady in love, you know, I mean, hello, you wanna go steady in love? You wanna go steady with me? And then comes the, the engagement, right? Well let's get engaged since we're so steady and then comes the marriage. And then the baby and the baby carriage is the baby of our awakening soul. Our baby soul, divine consciousness, huh? So we're all going steady in love. When my mind gets restless, it, it helps for me to focus on my breath. Love is the present moment. Yeah, it is. The breath is, is the queen. And I like to say, and yoga, Maya said me has heard this. Yeah, for that song. Uh, you're welcome, Maya Ji. Maya Ji heard me a lot in yoga class that the, the king is the awareness. So you have the awareness, Clark, that you just said. You know, when your mind gets restless, you notice that it's restless. And you said it helps me to focus on my breath. Well then, so the awareness brings your attention to the breath, which is the queen. And love is the present moment of each breath. So there's king and queen. They got together. The king is awareness and the breath is queen. And when that awareness is placed on receiving the gift of life, the breath of love, the breath of light, because that's what it is, really. It's a, you know, it gives us life, man. <laughs> and then you have a perfect marriage of the king and queen, the divine masculine and the divine feminine you can look at with you, you know. So you have a pure mind, you have a pure heart, because these are very, very, very pure kings and, and queens, you know. This is the pureness of your innocence, of your real nature. Oh my gosh, you know. Everybody is that, and this is why we can't make anyone wrong. Everybody's in the place where they need to be, the choice they make. I know I, I get so excited sometimes. I want everyone to ride the, 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 this love train and jump on and come on, let's go. Why wouldn't you want to do that? And I, and I also have to practice what I'm telling you guys. You know, if you don't want to jump on the love train, but well, that shouldn't change our, our, our love for anyone, right, Maya G? You all do that pretty well. I know Maya does that pretty pretty well. I know Clark does that pretty well. And, and Vertigo, I'm suspecting that you do it pretty well. And Jesus may be the master here, <laughs> right? Of honoring, of just letting everyone be, right? And you know, the, the way to do that is, is that you can't think this stuff and you can't like, look at it like at school where there's the linear, the linear, thinking, you know, I'm going to learn this and I'm going to learn that. No, we just have to have our eyes on love. You know, we just have to have really that that undivided attention on, the, on this personal moment, as, as Clark said, with the, with the breath. I, I like to say the breath is the beloved, huh? The breath, I've said that for years to my own breath. Beloved, you're my uh, breath, own breath, you're my beloved. Beloved is my breath. So when when she breathes me, she's loving me and I'm loving her, right? I like it to say it's a her. It's a divine feminine, right? It's, it's, it's love. It's feminine, very feminine, right? 
So, so there, there we wrap it up in a nice little, little bow this morning, huh? Undivided attention. I only have eyes. There's a famous song, of course, back in the day. I only have eyes for you. But what an apropos. I don't know. They, they, we need to have people write lyrics and titles like the old days. You know? You know, some, some of those old songs really stay in the heart. I only have eyes for you. Because, you know, in yoga, in the sense of yoga, they talk about quiet eyes. Quiet eyed. Mean that we're not looking around. You know, it's easy. You go into a restaurant and you look around what everyone's wearing, you know. Some people go to church and all they do is look around see, to see the people. And that's called restless eyes versus quiet eyes. But quiet eyes are quiet eyes because inside yourself, the core of you have the intention that you're going to have undivided attention on love. Now, of course, you know, that's, that happens even in, the, in human ways and, and then the babies come and there's just undivided attention. Just look at the, the new mom. Look at the new mom when she's holding that little baby and the new dad. Woo, undivided attention, man, right? It's built in. So we're at, we're, we, we are those things humanly as well. But we have to remember that the human needs to go steady with the real part of us so that they turn more towards divine part of us and then in the divine part of, of us then that is a true engagement and a true wedding of our lower self with our higher self all because of undivided attention and I only have eyes for you. I am extreme, positive, focus. And we call this, remember, XPF, X extreme. P, positive focus. XPF extreme, positive focus. I am extreme, positive. Sending in love and light I've got my radar on you, baby Sending in love and light Extreme positive focus sing these songs because if we could you know and part of our undivided attention I only have eyes for you that this is the energy that we're sending love and light to whatever we're looking at <laughs> right that we're sending our love and light to whatever we're looking at today so they're very quiet eyes because I the only they're love eyes man they're mesmerized eyes. They're the deer eyes and the puppy dog eyes and the baby eyes. They're soft gaze. They're soft gaze, like a soft focus lens. They don't see HD, this heavy delusion, duality, and what's going on? What's going on? Did you hear about? Da -da 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 -da. Let's go gossip. Let's go to Starbucks and gossip, gossip. Let's, let's, this is not the tea ceremony that Vertigo does. We don't gossip, you know? We just, we're sending love and light. We're focusing. We're focusing our attention because we have extreme positive focus. XPF extreme positive focus. XPF extreme positive focus.
Send in love and light Extreme positive focus Of love and light Extreme positive focus Of love and light I've got extreme positive focus We've got Undivided attention. Hey, listen, just a moment with your loved ones today, with your intention being undivided attention to be with the love that's inside them that really makes them tick, baby. Forget the personality, forget, please don't ever, ever want your loved one to change. What a gift that is to the loved one. Just give them your undivided attention of love because love is them. See them as that love. The personality may not change the rest of this life. Their behavior may not change for the rest of this life, but that doesn't change the truth. <laughs> this is about you, my friend. This is about you and the one beloved of you. And the one beloved of you and you. Well, look at it. We got Vertigo, we got Maya, we got Clark. That's it. Huh? We got some other silent viewers too. Probably Val. Maybe Lulu. If I'm not wrong. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not wrong because I don't want to even go to that concept anymore of right and wrong, you know. We all meet in that field that Rumi talks about, beyond right and wrong. He said, there's a field of love. Come and join me there. That's, where, that's the love force revolution. That's where we meet, right? But listen, no, just see how many moments that we can have. Now, that's okay. That's with somebody. That's, a, that's with a person or, or whoever. Maybe it's a stranger on the street, you know, undivided attention. I only have eyes on the love in you. The truth of you, the light in you, the judge. <laughs> See that? See that? Clark, <coughs> Vertigo, and my G, me, Lulu. She's on every day, every morning too, like you guys. But she hangs in the wings. And Val, there's a, there's a beautiful woman I know that does yoga with me too on Saturdays. Val, she's on too. So we honor you, you Val and Lulu, for being, uh, well, kind of engages. <laughs> Huh? We've all given this diamond ring to each other. We're going steady. Isn't that beautiful? Right? Let's, let's buy billions of diamond rings and hand them out to the world today. Now that's if you are a billionaire, 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 which we are. We're trillionaire in terms of our oneness with the infinite supply and the abundance of spirit. So let's buy diamond rings and pass them out to the world today. Of course, there are so many that would hock them, right? Of course, they need the, they need the change. <laughs> but, the, but I love the idea, right? That we all are engaged with the infinite lover. Oh, man. 
which makes our souls absolutely one and engaged as well within that infinite lover's divine embrace. Now we're talking, now we're talking about the reality. Huh? Now we're just barely touching on, on the reality of what really is. Oh man, I don't know. This is why I think there's, there's a lot of people say, man, it can't even go where we're going right now. And I understand that, right? Because we're not going to make them wrong. They're too much in pain. And I think that you've journeyed through a lot of pain. We're still in pain. I no question about it, right? And there will always be pain as long as we're in this physical domain, right? So we can anticipate that that's going to be there, right? But we also have journeyed through that pain to the degree that we want less pain and we want to gain the, the truth of our relationship, unbroken, undivided attention with love herself, right? So everyone, that, that's the journey. I think, Clark, you mentioned something about journey up there, huh? If I remember something about the journey. Yeah, so there it is. There it is. So we are holding this amazing, upgraded, upstream. Well, it's extreme. I'm extreme, I guess, you know? I stream the extreme, and the extreme streams through me. So there it is. Love flowing through us. How is that? Lulu, we need to have another Skype. You know, we need to have another Skype. Hey, Vertical, I do, we do Skype session, man. Let's see, see what you're all about. You know, I'm available. I'm available to keep, keep ourselves with the rings on rather than hawking this this infinite invitation to be wedded forever with love, and that's a an unbroken bond. That's a that's a that's a non-negotiable, no back doors. I'm in and I'm in and I'm in, and that's a forever. Right? <laughs> I'm engaged with the infinite lover. There it is, Maya G. Isn't that a sweet idea? Isn't that a sweet idea? It takes all the human stuff away. These higher Today, super moon, and I need make wish for you all. I know it's super moon. My wife and I took a walk last night, and we're in a neighborhood where you can just see that moon because we're in the little hills, kind of. Oh man, woo! That's super love, vertigo. Yes, I loved it. Shook me to the core, right? Yeah, that super moon is super love. This is what we're talking about because we're super men and we're super women, right? We're super soul, you know. So a super moon is very apropos, but it is stirring emotions too in our emotional body. But you know, take the locomotion of emotion, change it to devotion. Emotion turned devotion is the magic potion, right? So we have songs for almost every emotion, every state of mind, huh, Clark? This is what I love about the love force. And if we don't have one, we'll make one up, right? We'll make up a song, man if we don't have one. <laughs>
My soul life burns, I am not. My heart it sings, I love you. My soul life burns. Got you on my radar, baby. Sending love and light. Because I am. We are extreme, extreme positive focus. We only have eyes on love. We are engaged. We are wearing the diamond ring of soul friendship. Soul divine companions, right? Lovers of the light. Lovers of the soul. Lovers of truth. Ah, oh, I'm telling you. This ain't a bad day at all. Do 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 do. It's your favorite song. I love the do do song. Do 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 do. I love you. So listen, we went deep. We went way high today, this morning, huh? Don't you feel it? Amazing start to this Monday, Supermoon Love. Woo! And with a band of brothers and sisters like you right now on this love channel, man, I don't know who could ask for anything more, who could ask for anything more, right? <laughs> you know, those musicals, you know, when you see a musical, so, so my wife's birthday was yesterday, and so we went with some friends to that to the old musical back in the seventies, sixties, called Sweet Charity. And we went out to this place called the Lawrence Welk Retirement Center. <laughs> right, Lawrence Welk has a big resort. It was an old, old musician, old entertainer guy, you know, and uh, a TV show. But anyway, it was, uh, <laughs> it was so good because it, it was, you know, back in the 60s kind of thing and brought to life. But I don't know if it really transcribed to today's energy, but it was a very sweet show. Anyway, but I come out of that show, you know, after a couple hours, you know, just there's this drama and this and acting and then they break into a song. <laughs> 
and I'm in the, excuse me for this, but I'm in the men's room, and, uh, you know, and I just finished my business there, and I just wanted to break out the song right there. <laughs> You know, and I thought, wow, life would be so awesome, you know, if, you know, it was a musical. <laughs> because like this, I do it, I do it. Because a happy song, right? And you just break out in these serious song, scenes of today's life in your heart, break out, and you just do, 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 and you just make up some kind of a song. Like, let's make life a musical today. <laughs> uh, right? Let's make it a musical too, along with the super love. And the engagement and the diamond ring, man, boy, we have, we have uh, I think, transcended quite a bit this morning and yet dropped an anchor as deep as the, as the ocean itself, right? And then Vertigo says, today moon is super big, but today our love more than super moon. Ah, you get that? Yeah, Clark, did you hear that? <laughs> you hear that? Lulu, do you hear that? Val, do you hear that? Maya G, do you hear that? And anyone else that might be on the love line. And whether you're on the love line or not, you're on the love line. You got it? So it's okay to be extreme. I mean, I would say infinite is rather an extreme concept, wouldn't you? <laughs> Immortality, that's rather extreme. So we humans say, I, no, 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 no. I got to work through this pain. Got it. But the greatest way to work through a pain is to work the upper half of you and have more trust and faith in this cosmic you that isn't pain. Does that make sense? No, 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 I got just broke out of a relationship. My heart is broken. Fine, we hold that space. We don't make you wrong. We're right there to, help, to love you, to hold you, and to squeeze you, whatever else, you know. But listen, also, you're not a heart broke. The heart can't be broken. And it only breaks in the human condition so that we can realize what I just said. It ain't broken, man. You can put the pieces back together, but really you have a super, super divine heart that's unbreakable. Love is unbreakable, man. Love is the only constant that is. Everything else is changing around us. You know what I mean? So we're dropping this great, this great addiction to change and fear of change. And we're holding on for dear life, you know, to the life raft, the love boat, the love train, each other. And this love we share. And this high focus purpose of our lives that we're on a mission for and together with. Mm. Yes, this is a perfect start to my day. Wow, we're getting old when we go to retirement centers for birthday celebrations. Well, it wasn't that some friends invited us to do it and they and they paid for it. They they treated us. And being with the friends, I know, and all that. It was it was sweet. I mean, you know, our physical age, me and my we ain't getting any younger, but we are getting younger because look at me right now, huh? That's the energy of younger. Right there, getting younger by the breath. I say that in yoga class. Every breath that we focus on love, we're getting younger, we're getting richer, meaning we're tapping into the abundance of the universe. We're getting healthier and wealthier. Every breath that you breathe in, as Clark said up there, that king and queen idea, the awareness that when the breath comes in, it's a breath of love, it's a breath of good energy, it's a breath of youthfulness, eternal youthfulness of body and mind and heart and soul, right? And it is also about this undivided attention. If we want to bring unity in this world, my soul friends, my diamond soul friends, my lovers of love, right? then we're going to unify within ourselves in these ways that we practice in this n love ninja boot camp. Love force revolution. Every day, every moment. Training. It's training moments. It's training day. This is a life of unbelievable training. And what is the training? Well, we could say it's jump on the love train. And we're training all the way back home, right? All the way back home. Ah, okay. Are we all good now? Are we all good? Are we all feeling better? I do believe. I do believe we are. 
I believe. You believe. I believe. We believe. All right. Love and light, everybody. Enjoy the super love of the super moon and this unbelievable, I think, amazing grace focus that love is going to give each of us today because we showed up for love in a big time way. Toodles for now and oodles of love.